Hey guys, this is Kuku and welcome back to my channel. So I just got back from the grocery and I got inspired to film this video just because I saw the people who were in the grocery and I got a little bit sad because um, I just realized that there's still a lot of people who are not giving an extra effort to help our environment. So I kind of thought of sharing with you how I try my best in my small little ways to help the environment and avoid um, global warming. So if you guys are interested in this topic, just keep on watching. The first one na alam naman na nating lahat, I think na marami na rin ang gumagawa nowadays is like bringing eco bag. Avoid using plastics in grocery or as much as possible anywhere. Like ko to pinakita sa inyo sa mga bag videos ko, like this is very thin and it feels like nothing. Kahit sa bulsa ko, kasha siya. So I always bring this everywhere, every single day. Ang dami ng bansa ang napuntahan nito kasi I always bring this. Dami din namang kasha. Lagi ko talaga itong dala. So whatever happens, may maisipan akong bilhin. I just put it here. And then all of this, like these are all in the back of my car. Different sizes and shapes. So depending kung alam kung marami akong bibilhin, then I bring this. And I have like um, normal lang na maliit. If I know na konti lang. And then I also have this one. Nawa ko lang siya free sa GR Deli when um, I bought some chocolates. Another one, binili ko sa Visoria or Green Hills ata. Same thing. So it's insulated na lalagyan. So every time I buy mga meat or ice cream even, I just put them here and walang left. Number two, produce bags. So as a ano ko din to, car ko all the time. I got this set, tatlo from E Corner PH and I have this Hello Kitty one that I got from Green Hills lang din. So you avoid na yung mga gulay and fruits na you buy in the grocery. You avoid na putting them in every plastic tapos papatimbang, di ba? Hindi din kasi pwede hindi mo ipalagay sa plastic kasi kailangan ng timbangin and buholin. But I just put them in each like manga here and then onions and then garlic and then banana and then patimbang and then they just buhol it. So no plastics. <laughs> Number three, ito lagi ko din sinasabi and alam nyo na lahat lagi ko nire-rave. We bring our own water bottle as much as possible. So, um, invest in a good water bottle. Ako, I cannot live without cold water. So, kung normal uh, water bottle lang, hindi din siya uuwa sa akin. That's why we just started investing on good water bottles. So, we have it in different sizes and shapes. Like, ito yung lala ko lagi. Pag dalawa kami doon na magkasama, meron akong isa pa na... 32 ounce na for me alone or meron din kami na doon ting isang ganito like pag nagbabike kami or pagkahiwalay kami this is just perfect for alone pagka mga biglaan na mabilis lang ako yung gusto kong kasya sa bag ko I bring this one and even this one pag nagka-camping kami or beer is even really good I think 2 days ang maximum na na experience namin personally na nandun pa rin yung ice sa loob or kung mainit painit pa rin siya it really last us for so long. And then I also drink a lot of um, iced coffee from McDonald's. Lagi ako nagdo-drive through. Nowadays, we started bringing our own um, coffee cup. This is super cute pa. It changes color pag may laman siya na cold um, beverage. So I got this from eCorner Beach as well. Number four. Ano ba yan? Sorry, hindi ko napaghandaan. But these are um, reusable straws. So ito, kakagamit ko lang kaya nakabalot siya. I used to have um, four of these, but nung medyo nagsisimula pa lang kami, hindi pa kami sanay. So maraming naiwan at natapon at nawala. Hindi ko na alam kung asaan. Like this one, this is my favorite na I always use. So isa na lang siya, so order na lang ulit ako. Uh, E-corner PH also. And then we have this for the bubble tea, yung bobas. And meron din ako nung glass na pointed, nabasag ko. So... Bibili na lang din ulit ako. But for now, I still have this two. I always bring this kasi easiest way. Mabawasan natin ang ating mga waste. Um, if ayaw nyo naman, ayaw nyo mag-commit na like yung may dala hindi kayo nadala ng bags, just don't use a straw, okay? <laughs> Next one is when you are doing takeouts or deliveries, please, please, please ask them to avoid um, giving you na yung mga plastic spoon and forks. Ayan, so ang dami na namin naipon kasi minsan sinasabi na namin nagdadala pa rin sila. Pero padalas naman, hindi na rin. But anyway, na-realize ko yung iba ang thinking nila. Yan, nandiyan naman na yan, gamitin na natin. But well, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but at least hindi ko siya ginagamit and it's just there. In case of emergency, ba kailangan gamitin. But as much as possible, we avoid using them pag nagbibigyan kami. Kung pwede naman or kung kaya nyo naman, sabihin nyo na lang na huwag na kayong bigyan. <music> 
Number six is this one. Pinost ko na rin to sa Instagram story ko. Tinuro to sa akin ng sister ko. Siya yung pinaka-eco-friendly sa aming lahat talaga and nagmumulat sa amin sa mga pag-recycle and everything. She taught us to do this. Oh, actually, pinilit niya kami to do this. Which is very smart naman and magandang gawin talaga siya for households like this. Stuff mo lang dito lahat ng mga plastic na ginagamit nyo. So, nag nagulat na lang ako nung first time ko siyang ginawa. Dalawa kami ni Don dito sa bahay. Pero parang less than a week na puno na namin siya. So, yun yung siksik na siksik. Kailangan kasi it doesn't have any give. Yun, like talagang todo siksik. So, I use a really long screwdriver para isuksuk dito. So, these are being used by the plastic project ba yun? Basta, I'm gonna put it na lang sa Facebook. Follow nyo sila. Nandun lahat ng details about it. But, the point is you just put all your plastic wastes here. Make sure it doesn't have a give yung matibay siya, and make sure it's dry. So, meron akong egg tray na kapag ka-dirty yung ano, may mga powder crumbs, binabasa ko, nililinis ko. Patuyuin mo lang and then bago mo isuksok dito. Because gagamitin siya as bricks to build houses and school. Kailangan malinis din yun naman para hindi siya anayin and alam na, di ba? You guys, make an effort to do this at home. Kahit nasa dorm kayo or nasa apartment, yung mga candies nyo, you will be surprised kung gaano kadami yung plastic waste na nagamit yung in a day. Nagugulat din ako minsan na, ah, okay. kakasuksok ko lang dito kanina. Ang dami na namang plastic na nandun sa egg tray ko. So, do this. Kasi, isipin nyo na lang yung mga nilalagay nyo dito. Kung hindi nyo nilagay dito, saan siya napupunta? Diba? Sa so, turtles, mga sea, and it's so sad. Next. We tried to replace our... Eh, meron pa ako kasi hindi ko pa naubos. But as much as possible, I don't use the cling wrap anymore. So this is... Nakalimutan ko yung tawag. But also got this from eCorner B8. So tela siya na may wax. So imagine meron kang... Bawa, this one. It's an onion na hindi pa ubos. So you just wrap it like that. At narrap siya na ganyan. See? Because it has wax. And... Reusable siya, you just clean it and okay na ulit. Pagka yung mga ulam na hindi pa nauubos, nasa bowl. So, you just put it on top of the bowl and then it's perfect. Dami ko din basura na na-lessen when I started using it. Really, really a good investment also. Pero mura lang din naman siya. Next, since ang daming plastic waste, try to buy big packaging of groceries. Before, ang ginagawa ko lalo dito sa Joy is yung maliliit kasi perfect siya dun sa bottle ko na isang ganon, sakto na siya. So, but then I realized, ang daming waste na nagamit. So I just buy now all, always big packaging para isang basura lang. And then, pag naubos ko na to, I cut them into small pieces and then shoot ko dito. Para at least, mas konti din yung plastic na nagagamit, diba? Next one, kata pa lang ako allergic na ako sa sanitary pads. Kaya, early on, I already started using tampons. However, tampons is also not good for us. It didn't do me any good. TMI, but to cut the long story short, I finally found my perfect period best friends. Na-post ko na rin to lagi sa Instagram. I've been using this for almost two years already. These are um, period underwear. The best for me, kasi hindi na ako nagkaka-allergies. I don't use any pads and tampons anymore. This thing absorbs everything. You just re-wash them, reuse them. And it saved my life. I only use this now. Tapos, at the same time, imagine, nabasa ko is a woman uses 240 tampons or pads a year. So imagine for a lifetime, nga na kadaming pads ang kailangan mo gamitin. And where does that go, di ba? So, with this, wala, wala lang waste during the time of the month. I got this from thinks.com. Lagi ko din siya pinupost sa Instagram ko. It's just the best. And then, it's not really cheap, but isipin nyo na lang din. Yung isang peraso nito, eh, ilan na yung katumbas ng pag binibili nyo lagi yung mga pads and tampons nyo, di ba? So, this is an investment. You can use this for a lifetime already. Unless hindi na magkasya sa'yo, but ibang usapan na yun. But anyway, I'm gonna put the link na lang siguro down below where I bought this. And mas marami kang bilhin, mas mura. So, I always buy at least 5 or 7 kasi yun yung nagagamit ko in one cycle. Thanks! Thanks! <laughs> and then next is for now, ginagamit ko is shampoo bar na ginawa ni Don na body soap. <laughs> but anyway, 
I'm starting with this one when I travel. This is the shampoo that I bring. And di naman ako kailangan conditioner, but may conditioner din na bars. But um, eventually, I will try and switch na yun yung mga nalig sa bahay. Inuubos ko lang din. And we'll see. But for now, at least, I am not bringing yung mga nakasashay every time na nagta-travel ako. Kasi usually, di ba yun yung ginagawa natin? So, we don't wanna bring the big bottles. Either we put it in small bottles or yung iba, nagdadala ng mga sachet for traveling. So, ang dami na naman plastic packaging na waste. So, try to switch into shampoo bars. And, and lastly, that I do for beauty also is that with my toners, I don't use cotton anymore. That's two birds in one shot actually because it's really good for the environment because nababawasan ang waste natin. Number two, did you know that yung cotton na gamit nyo is hindi pa hangahiyang sa inyo? That's actually sometimes the reason why nagkakaroon kayo ng mga acne or small things in your face. Kasi sometimes may mga particular um, cotton that doesn't do good for your skin. At may number three reason pa pala. At least at the same time, makakatipid ka rin sa toner mo. Diba? So what I do is I just put the, the palm of my hand and then ibasa mo yung buong palm mo and then just dab it on your face. It goes directly on your face kung meron mong matira, at least nasa palm mo lang and it's still on your body. So, walang masayang, wala ka ding tinapo na basura and less um, possibility for you to break out. So, that's 10 steps that I managed to help the environment in my own little ways and I hope you guys also try and make an effort na iwasan yung mga basura and kalat because if magkakaanak ako, I'm really really sad for my kids and yung mga pamangkin ko in the future um, generation. Hindi yung magsasuffer sa mga ginagawa natin ngayon, imagine. Kaming dalawa ni Don, sobrang we make an effort. Partly, ano <laughs> Okay, don't then, you make an effort. We really make an effort. Kasi alam mo yung parang nangingilun talaga kami sa mga nakikita na yung basura everywhere and sa mga kalat and all. Na it's really sad, the pollution and all of this. Na sana ma-avoid natin. If all of us in this world will make small effort to do this, imagine the impact na magagawa. So let's all stay educated, make an effort, and magtulungan tayo because we love Mother Earth and... We want our world to last. I hope meron kayo natutunan sa mga shinare ko na hindi nyo pa ginagawa before na gawin nyo na. I mean, there's no harm in doing all of this, di ba? Thank you guys for watching and please, 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 let's all save Mother Earth. I'll see you on my next video. Bye! Bye, Markley! <laughs>